Some time ago, I showed you how to make a simple little torch or flashlight. Do you remember? It really works. Look at this. There it is there. And it works well enough to show you your way around the house if you happen to have a blackout. It's made from a single cell torch battery, any size, and a globe, preferably one that has the little magnifier at the front, and then a piece of aluminium foil folded into a strip, and then some sticky tape or a couple of rubber bands to hold it all together. Well, if you happen to have a bicycle without a light or one where the light has broken, you can make an emergency light for your bike using a very similar idea, but this time starting not with one battery, but with two batteries. And also starting with some aluminium foil and a globe and a bent paper clip this time and some sticky tape. The first thing you'll need to do is to fold up your aluminium foil into a strip like this, uh, just a few millimetres wide. There it is there. That's to make contact between the two torch batteries. Now, the two torch batteries will need to be bound together well and truly, but before you do that, turn one of them upside down so that they're in that position there. Then with a piece of sticky tape, put it all the way around like this in the middle and bind them together as tightly as you can with that sticky tape so they don't wobble around too much. There we are, that's all the way around and you'll notice I cut off enough sticky tape so that it goes more than once around the two torch batteries. Now the piece of aluminium foil, that goes across between the two and you'll notice that now one of them's upside down. So it makes contact from one cell to the other. And here we need two more pieces of sticky tape. One to go over in this position here, once again as tight as you can to make good contact between the aluminium foil and the battery itself. And the same thing with the other one. Now this is the undersurface of our little emergency bicycle light. So we can turn it up and that's the way it'll look. Finally, the globe sits on top of the little pointy bit that pokes up from one of the batteries. Once again, strip of sticky tape, this time slightly narrower tape than the other pieces, and tape that down to the battery in this position here, and we're almost there. Why the bent paper clip? I'm glad you asked. That, of course, is going to be the switch, and that'll sit on top of the other battery, like that, and once again, piece of sticky tape to hold it in position. Now, we have almost finished the whole device. All we need to do is to swivel this paper clip around so that it makes contact and you can see what happens. The circuit is completed and if that pressure is right, and you may need to bend it backwards and forwards a little bit to adjust it, then it'll stay switched on like that. But for now, I'll switch it off while I make the backlight for the bike. That's almost the same as the front light, except that this time I've used a clear globe and I've taken a red felt pen and I've coloured in the glass like that so that when this one goes on it should glow red in all directions rather than shining a beam on the roadway. Let's see if it does. Once again swivel the paper clip around and lock it in position and we have a red light for the back of the bike and that'll stay switched on as well. Now comes the problem of attaching those lights to the bicycle. This is very easy. All you need uh, is to have a couple of rubber bands, strong thick ones, and a couple of ice cream sticks. Front light first of all. We place it across the handlebars in that position there, take one of the ice cream sticks, put it in that position there, and then one of the thick rubber bands goes from the front of the ice cream stick down underneath the batteries, underneath the handlebars, and up to the ice cream stick at the back. There it is there. Now when we switch this on, once again, we'll find that we have a globe that glows and we can point it in any direction we like. And in fact, we'll probably angle it down slightly towards the roadway. Now for the backlight. Same sort of thing. This time we go to the fork that leads down to the back wheel. We turn the whole light upside down so it's in that position there. Once again, ice cream stick across between the two batteries. And the rubber band goes from one side of the ice cream stick behind the batteries, behind the fork, and up to catch hold of the other end of the ice cream stick there. Then switch it on, once again, and we have a red light glowing behind. Now, if you really do have lights that have broken on your bicycle, I'm sure that you'll get them fixed up or get proper new ones, but you'll have a lot of fun making these little torches and using them around the home anyway. But if I did happen to need to use these in an emergency, I'd simply hop on the bike, look up at the night sky, and head off home.